From secret underground bunkers to horrifying archaeological discoveries, plus new findings from Mars, here are 10 incredible recent discoveries that just happened. German Bunker There are always new discoveries made in the world of Nazi Germany. One of the most recent discoveries was made by researchers in Normandy who discovered a huge complex of Nazi bunkers that had not been seen by anyone in around 75 years. Researchers had to dig underneath the ground just to find the doors that led inside of the bunkers. Everything inside was completely frozen in time. The complex consists of two massive bunkers, each one with three or four large rooms. This new discovery is part of the complex known as the Maisie Battery, which is about two miles from Omaha Beach. Back when it was operational, the complex had a total of 14 massive guns, including 150mm howitzers. What's really interesting about these bunkers is that researchers discovered evidence that they had been burned from the inside. They reckon it was either from a firefight to capture the site or the Nazis burned it themselves afterwards. This place is dark and creepy. It was also one of the bunkers used to defend the beaches during D-Day. How it got lost in time is a bit of a mystery, but nonetheless, it was full of amazing relics like gas masks, ammunition, and even Nazi helmets. Mission to Venus This next one is both news and a discovery. After some recent scientific findings revealed the possibility of life on the planet Venus, NASA is now considering a mission to go there. They are apparently considering at least two planetary science missions to Venus by next April. The missions won't be underway by next April, but they would be approved, which is definitely a good first step. It all happened just recently in 2020 when an international research team discovered potential evidence of microbes living inside the acidic clouds of Venus. This newest discovery is providing extremely powerful evidence that there is indeed life beyond Earth even if it is only microbial. And in light of this new discovery, NASA understands the importance of sending a mission to Venus to see exactly what is going on. Even though we have been mostly prioritizing Mars, like the next generation rover that launched last July to find potential traces of life on the red planet, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein has said that it is now time to prioritize Venus. If there is indeed microbial life living on the planet, there is pretty much no way to know for sure unless we land there. Mars is obviously closer and easier to reach, but we have been there several times without finding any real life. Venus could expose all kinds of cosmic truths, and this is an opportunity that we definitely cannot pass up. Lakes on Mars Let's stick with the stars for just another minute and check out the newest discovery from Mars. Speaking of life on other planets, planetary scientists have just discovered a total of four lakes hidden under the surface of the red planet. The discovery was published in Nature Astronomy and it was made by using radar data from the European Space Agency's spacecraft Mars Express, which is currently orbiting the planet. Basically, the discovery of four subsurface lakes could mean that there is a habitat for life under the planet that we never knew about before. According to a planetary scientist from the University of Rome, it's a very complex system that they found. It may even be similar to the underground lakes found in Antarctica. The underground lakes on Mars cover a space of about 29,000 square miles, which is an area roughly one-fifth the size of Germany. The biggest lake measures roughly 19 miles across. As you might already know, because of the lack of atmosphere on Mars, liquid water is impossible on the surface. Scientists have speculated for a long time that there could be water trapped under the surface since they also believe that the planet once had oceans billions of years ago. And now they have been proved right. There are definitely lake reservoirs under the surface of the planet, but the big question is what kind of life is living inside of them. On Earth, we have subglacial lakes in Antarctica with very curious life forms living in seemingly impossible conditions, so maybe Mars does too. Humans still evolving. We typically believe that evolution takes millions and millions of years to produce results, but this simply is not true. Evolution is an ongoing process, and recent research has proved that human beings are still evolving as we speak. To understand this entirely, we should start from the beginning. First of all, the early hominins of millions of years ago look almost nothing like us. Keep in mind that around 3 million years ago, we were a weird mix between apes and humans. But evolution goes further than that. Even the Homo sapiens who lived 10,000 years ago looked very different from what we look like today. And don't forget about how since humans spread out of Africa, we have gradually evolved to have different skin colors and other subtle genetic differences. 
One might say that the people of the Amazon jungle look nothing like the people of Scandinavia, and this all has to do with progressive evolution just over a short period of time. In one of the most recent studies, scientists discovered that human bones are getting weaker and less dense. They believe that Homo sapiens began to weaken somewhere around 12,000 years ago right around the time that we began to farm. Once humans stopped being nomadic and settled down, our diets changed, our physical activities changed, and our skeletons became lighter and more fragile. According to a researcher at the University of Cambridge, humans beings actually have the potential to be as strong as an orangutan. But because we have moved away from being hunters and become sedentary, our bodies are actually getting weaker. After another a thousand years of sitting in our cars and watching TV, we could look a lot like human octopuses with no bones. Archaeology Horror Here we have a horrifying discovery out of Britain. It all started back in the 60s when a human skull was discovered near Basingstoke during excavations prior to the development of a housing unit. The workers were startled to discover human bones, and the remains were quickly placed in a museum, and the skull was left to collect dust. It wasn't until just recently that scientists went back to analyze the skull that was originally found in the 60s. A researcher at the Institute of Archaeology at the University College London was shocked by the condition of the skull. Researchers are now saying that this skull might have belonged to the earliest person on record in Anglo-Saxon England to have received the inhuman and despicable punishment of facial disfiguration for a crime that we will likely never know. The thing is, when researchers went back to analyze the skull, they found that it belonged to a female teenager and that her nose and lips had been cut cut off before death. Keep in mind this was over 1,000 years ago, but still that's a pretty heinous way to go. Researchers are speculating that the severity of the girl's injuries might have been punishment for something like sexual deviancy, or even just for the suspicion of some type of deviant behavior. Using radiocarbon dating, researchers found the teenage girl lived sometime between 776 and 899 AD. They also discovered a shallow cut across the teenager's forehead, which could suggest she had been scalped before death. Dog Brains Moving away from terrifying archaeological discoveries, let's take a look at two recent discoveries that have totally turned the tables on how scientists understand dogs and their brains. A new study published in August 2020 has shown that dogs actually understand verbal communication in the exact same way that humans do. What this means is that dogs are able to understand and differentiate tone and meaning just in the way that we can. The next time you're talking to your dog, keep in mind that it can probably understand more than you think. A second study has revealed that puppies age much quicker than older dogs. This one is a bit complicated. Dogs live on average about 12 years, and by contrast, human life expectancy is at least five times longer. This is why people have been saying for a long time that a dog year is equivalent to seven human years. But this new study says that the rule is wrong. Genetic evidence is now suggesting that puppies age way quicker than older dogs. The co-author of the study has claimed that a one-year-old dog is equivalent to something like a 30-year-old human. But then as time passes, dogs begin to age slower. Even though by the time a dog is 12 years old, it's actually 70 in human years, this does not mean it aged evenly. Dogs do almost all their aging when they're young, then spend their senior years creeping along at an even pace. Ancient Workshop in 2020, archaeologists may have uncovered evidence of the very first furnace ever to be used on Earth. This happened when an archaeological excavation uncovered what appeared to be a workshop once used for smelting copper ore. According to researchers from the Tel Aviv University, it is highly likely that this workshop was the first instance of man figuring out how to manufacture goods using a furnace. This is incredible, considering the workshop is 6,500 years old, and it may have been used for domestic production just like a modern factory. The excavation uncovered a small installation crafted from tin that would have been used to smelt copper ore. But here is where the story gets really cool. It looks like the copper smelted at this workshop was actually mined in Jordan over 60 miles away. Researchers are thinking that rather than smelt the ore at the area where it was mined, the material was transported an extremely far distance to keep the new technology a secret. Now this was back in the copper age, and this technology would have been the equivalent to the discovery of the internet. Nobody would have known about it other than a few elite members of society, as the method behind smelting is actually quite complicated. The discovery of this workshop is now suggesting that the entire science of metallurgy was actually developed first in Israel. It's like finding the first ever clay pot or the first stone tool. It's really quite an amazing discovery. Mysterious Carvings For centuries, villagers living in the dusty hills of China's Loess Plateau 
believed that the rock walls near their homes were actually part of the Great Wall of China. It does make sense considering that the dry region has been at the frontier of Chinese rule for over 2,000 years, but recently, a team of Chinese archaeologists investigated this strange rock wall and they began to unearth some very bizarre findings. To date, the excavation has now revealed more than six miles of protective walls which surround an enormous 230-foot tall pyramid with an inner sanctum covered in painted murals and filled with jade artifacts, and also macabre evidence of human sacrifice. Right before the excavation was suspended because of the coronavirus, archaeologists uncovered 70 relief sculptures in stone at this new archaeological site, including images of serpents, monsters, and inhuman beasts. Carbon dating revealed that parts of the site date back to around 4,300 years, which is over 2,000 years before the Great Wall was built, and 500 years before the Chinese civilization even took root. This would mean that a remote community lived in this place from around 2,300 BC to around 1,800 BC, then disappeared entirely. This huge city is not mentioned in any ancient text, and nobody has even thought anything of it for thousands of years because the villagers just didn't care or people just thought it was part of the Great Wall. It's now being thought of as the largest Neolithic settlement in China. Canada-Australia Connection it's true that Canada and Australia were both British colonies at one point, but new fossil discoveries show an even older connection between the two countries. The discovery of a tiny insect fossil in Canada, estimated to be around 50 million years old, has raised some serious questions about what the Earth looked like all those years ago. The thing is, this tiny insect fossil found in Canada has a relative, and that relative lives exclusively in Australia. That means that 50 million years ago, the insect lived in Canada and somehow made its way to what is now Australia and continued to thrive on that continent. If you've ever looked at the Earth, you will notice that these two places are very far apart. This discovery is actually baffling scientists. Australia and Canada could not possibly have been touching even 50 million years ago. At that time, Australia would have been closer to Antarctica and much farther from Asia. That means there would have been a huge ocean barrier with almost no way for life to disperse between Canada and the land down under. But this is not a freak incident. There have been other insect fossils found in Canada and the United States whose only modern relatives live in Australia. These insects include a type of wasp, a family of termites, and bulldog ants. According to the report from Science Daily, scientists are stumped. They don't understand how these insects got from point A to point B. New Fish in the Coral Sea Last on the list are some new fish discoveries that happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. Scientists working remotely with the Schmidt Ocean Institute to study one of the world's largest continental margin plateaus underwater have discovered at least 10 new species of fish, snails, and sponges. This is not any revolutionary discovery, but it is always pretty cool when scientists find new hordes of animals. The research team's vessel spent 46 days in the Coral Sea and captured real-time 4K video of this new underwater life using a special robot. There are a full 74 hours of high-resolution video available to the public right now. Along with lots of new fish, the team managed to map a huge portion of the sea floor, finding at least 30 large coral atolls, many submarine canyons, some dune fields, submerged reefs, and even evidence of underwater landslides. Which recent discovery do you think is the most important? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. See you again for more amazing discoveries.